Queen and Royals attend St. Mary Magdalene Church again but where are Meghan and Kate? The Queen returned to St. Mary Magdalene Church in Sandringham today accompanied by some other members of the royal family, including Lady Louise and Prince Edward. Queen Elizabeth II, 92 was without the closest members of her family today as she attended St. Mary Magdalene Church in Norfolk for the second time this week. After being accompanied by Kate Middleton, 36, Prince William, 36, and Prince Harry, 34, and Meghan Markle, 37, to the church for the Christmas Day service, Her Majesty returned with other members of the royal family. The Queen was joined by Vice Admiral Sir Timothy Lawrence, Lady Louise, and Prince Edward. Prince Edward, 54, is the youngest of the Queen and Prince Philip's four children. Lady Louise, 15, is the daughter of Prince Edward and his wife Sophie, Countess of Wessex, 53. The couple also have a son, James Viscount Severn, 11. Queen Elizabeth II still looked festive for the Sunday service, arriving in a dark pink coat with matching hat. Her hat was also adorned with white flowers held together by a pretty silver bow. She accessorized with a pair of drop pearl earrings and matched her lipstick to her ensemble with a dark pinky red shade. Their outing comes days after the Queen and the rest of the royal family visited the same church for the Christmas service. Kate Middleton 36, and Meghan Markle, 37, had all eyes on them as they arrived at St. Mary Magdalene on 25 December, as the sisters-in-law quashed reports of a feud between them. The pair and their husbands tend to spend Christmas at Sandringham from Christmas Eve until Boxing Day, so the families have no doubt returned to their homes in preparation for the new year. However, Catherine and William may be spending some time with her family, Carol and Michael Middleton before the new year gets underway. It was recently reported the Cambridges would spend every Christmas with his grandmother, so Kate's parents will have to see their daughter and grandchildren Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis, before or after the festivities each year. For her Christmas Day appearance the Queen made sure to wear an eye-catching outfit of a grey coat with bold pink detailing on the hat and at the seams. Her husband Prince Philip decided not to brace the cold weather and stayed at home after retiring from public duties last year. Although the Christmas Day service is a private, family event, Philip, 97, is rarely seen in public these days. He was seen attending the Queen's annual Christmas lunch in Buckingham Palace on December 19, but was last seen in public during his granddaughter Princess Eugenie's royal wedding in October. Buckingham Palace said the Duke of Edinburgh was in good health, according to the Mirror. Meanwhile, Camilla, the Duchess of Cornwall, also had to pull out of the Christmas Day church service, after suffering a heavy cold which also saw her miss out on the Queen's Christmas lunch last week. But the Queen was all smiles as she arrived at church by car alongside son Prince Andrew. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comment box below and don't forget to subscribe to get instant news updates.